Yo guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and this month I wanted to do something special to hit legend. As we know, the new ranking system, we start off at bronze 10 every month, so I opted, let's go from bronze 10 to legend, only using budget decks, no legendaries that you don't get for free, or a max of two epics, no adventure cards, rest are commons and rares. So the first deck that we kicked off the budget deck legend climb was the token budget demon hunter it's a variation kind of a mix between the combo version and the tempo version it's got quite a few different cards in it in comparison to the one that you're going to mainly see on ladder right now it has a ton of burst a ton of uh kind of comeback mechanics to the board and very explosive turns uh with the questing adventure with the skull of Gul'dan. so with that we're going to take a look at the deck each and every card in there we're going to go over it and then for there we're going to head into some ranked games you're going to see this budget deck in action and i believe this one in total took us from bronze 10 ish to plat five we mainly played this one in that era because it's a very fast deck and a lot of people did not know how to play around it so twin slice of course we play this in the demon hunter deck it's really good tempo in the early game the fact that it costs zero mana is what makes it so good plus you get the other one in the hand it synergizes with any attack minion in the deck battle fiend how do you not play this in any demon hunter deck it's a one mana one two after hero attacks which it basically does every turn you get a plus one attack consume magic there's a lot of taunts out there taunts allow us to not go face we like face because we want to hit it and then our opponent dies so this basically makes the taunt minion non-existent plus we draw a card it only costs one mana so it's an easy one to just slip in there crimson sigil runner playing one mana two ones that draw cards are very very good chaos strike again two mana drawing a card your hero gets attacked your hero kills things your minions can then go face or you can use this to just go face and it feels pretty good knife juggler there's a lot of cards in the deck like the umber wing that summons minions the coordinated strike that summons minions of course we have the command Elidari, which summons minions so going knife juggler into a token creation card is a lot of damage plus they all have rush which is even more damage comboing knife juggler with the cards like the naga is very very powerful because it's just a massive amount of damage very very quickly spectral sight it's one of the draw mechanics in the deck it's really good it's a two mana most of the time draw two this deck's curve is very very low as you can see we cap out at school of Gul'dan, and the highest costing minion is outcast so being able to refill our hand full of minions so we can keep throwing up on the board and playing stuff and attacking face is key umber wing how do you not play this card it's a two mana one two weapon most of the time it has two attack because of our hero power and it summons two one ones which synergize with all the other stuff in the deck coordinated strike three mana summon three one one illidaris with rush so this is either used for trading stuff this is used in combo with knife juggler or the naga and all that good stuff it's a really good card and again it being discounted by the skull allows us to play this in one turn uh, which when we skull most of the time we're going to want to play all those cards at that time or combo them with cards like questing adventure i beam again really good just single target removal most of the time we can coordinate this to be in the left hand or the most right hand spot of our hand because of again the low mana cost of the deck questing adventure questing adventure originally this guy wasn't in the deck but then i ended up taking out feast of souls because it ended up just being a little bit too clunky and you needed a board to be able to draw and a lot of the times you don't want to trade with your minions unless you really have to and if you do trade with your minions you don't have the extra mana because you're playing naga that turn among with other things so i opted to put in questing explorer because if they don't kill him you just win and any three mana card that left unchecked and you just win is normally just a good card to put in your deck in questing explorer plus the fact that it costs zero off skull because it does cost three that's reduced by three it just fits i i think so very well in this particular budget token demon hunter deck overseer statted great for a three mana minion plus you summon a two two every time you get to attack you attack every turn you summon a two two every turn and that's just a lot of damage and a lot of homies you're making for free naga one of the most important cards in the deck and very very key aspect of dealing a shit ton of damage in one turn when you combo naga with cards like coordinated strike the command illidari or if you just have minions on the board already it's going to be it's going to swing three damage at your opponent's face or minions so whether or not you're clearing the board or dealing face damage it's just a very powerful card and you want to use this one when you have like four plus minions out and you know they're going to die outcast again most of the cards in the deck are very very cheap plus the skull is going to reduce them further so being able to do like four plus damage with this guy or just clearing your opponent's board if need be is just so easy to do every demon hunter just plays this guy and command same reason we run the coordinated it's just because summoning six one ones is good and comboing that with knife juggler and the naga is key and then of course we have skull Gul'dan, our main draw mechanic almost a keep in the mulligan because of how powerful it is and drawing three cards and reducing them by three basically everything in the deck you draw is going to cost zero mana besides the command and the outcast and that's only three cards in a 30 card deck so skull very very good in the deck and it wins a lot of matchups so with that let's head into the game so you guys can enjoy if you do like the budget decks you do like what they have to offer you and you're having some success let me know in the comment section below throw a like really helps the video out it tells me you like the budget decks and i'll keep making them for you guys so with that let's head into the games and enjoy Illithin versus Anduin. the 
light shall bring victory. This ends now! Skull on the left is an uh, almost immediate keep. We could also run... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we could run Zephyrus, but that's not very budget of me. You have a VOD where you play Quest Spell Druid. I'll be posting a video on that tomorrow. I'm already on it. White on rice. Yep. Spells, 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 combo druid tomorrow. Yep. Uh oh, is this guy playing the priest deck that I posted? He is. Fuck me. I lose. <laughs> Deck's insane. What's going on? <laughs> yep. This guy is playing that priest deck I built. I'm F is for fuck. The wings I've done. Vengeance! Vengeance! I can tell you right now, I have not seen a single priest play that card, especially two of them, since the start of the new expansion. <laughs> You haven't played Control Warrior since the new expansion, have you? Uh, we played a big warrior. I did play a big Control Warrior. It is right... Here. Serve your master. Alright, play the 2-6 taunt. Follow me. I'm not sure about Twin Slice in this deck. Really? Not gonna play anything? Alright, so I'm gonna have to win through uh, the outcast. I can win through the outcast guy. Need to make sure I try to discount him. The biggest thing. And I really don't want to play mana burn yet. I really don't want to play that guy either. What was my plan here? Oh, to get to the skull. Is there any other decent sized minion that we're missing in this deck? We've got the jugs, we got the overseers. Problem with this guy is we haven't drawn any of the token guys because this guy's not playing any minions. Alright, let's draw the uh, outcast. Fuck. No outcast. I said, just keep waiting patiently. With you. I think those are more of the tempo versions. 
You guys see. You you'll you, you guys will see what happens uh, with this deck pretty soon. I, I haven't drawn any of the combo cards. <clears throat> I need the outcast or him to have a bunch of minions out. If I don't, if that, if those two things don't happen, it makes it very hard for us to uh, uh, do things with stuff. Hopefully that makes sense. Really didn't want to have to do this. Alright, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I was really hoping that the guy would have uh, lived. Now he's gonna spreading plague or holy nova. Bottom five cards is the outcast and Netheramus. Unfortunate. Uh, they're free, Bob. These are free cards you get through doing the Demon Hunter prologue. Jean, waiting. Do you see what must be done? Put the castle on your head. I can draw Spectral Sight, hit the Wrath Naga, and the Illidari. I can win. I just have to draw Spectral Sight. So follow me. We could do it. We just had to draw a little bit better this game, especially against Priest. All right, and then I'm going to play this guy when it hits nine co two nine costs, and then I'm going to be able to... Um, hopefully, he doesn't kill both of these. He can kill one of these, but not both. And if he kills the one, and it goes to two nine costs... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. Check it out, chat. Check it out. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it out. I'm gonna trade here. It's gonna go face, and I have lethal. Face. Game over. Y'all y'all counted me out. Y'all counted me out, dude. Y'all counted me out. I know you did. I know you did. I told you there was a way. Like my dude, you know I'm playing with like a free deck, right? <laughs> you know I'm playing with a, the dust count on my deck is one card in yours. How about we uh we take a little simmer there, Mister Mage? I like this hand. Skull on the left is good. Pilfer? Main deck's Pilfer. They always have backstab. If you draw Battle Fiend, your opponent, if it's a rogue, they have backstab. Every time. It's a 100%. I've done the math. 100% of the time, if you play your Battle Fiend and you're playing against a rogue, it gets backstab. It never lives. I don't think it's ever lived. I really just don't want to play this guy out and not summon a 2-2, but doing nothing is not good enough, so go get him, Tiger. Emotional players. People don't get tilted. People over emote wins, rope every turn, they're losing. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it, dude. Heads up, 
Yeah, feels bad. It's day one of the season. It's, uh... Well, it'll be okay. For that guy. Or maybe not be okay for that guy. Who the fuck knows? Alright, what's our turn five looking like? It's looking pretty bad. I guess our best draw would be coordinated strike with jugglers. Because we can't play the Skull of Gul'dan until six. And then the I-beams open up. But until then, the I-beams just sit there because they're on the left side. And we need to play this card first. Let's get two drop. Ah, it's actually like the worst card. <laughs> now we have a skull on each side of our hand. No oh, fuck. <laughs> so our best draw is actually a twin slice now, because I would twin slice into playing this skull on the right. Because if we play the skull on the left, the skull on the right, almost never going to be able to get played. Going to have to migrate all the way back over. Your power. Limitless. Can you say no more? Alas, poor woman. Oh, even more in love. Ooh. All right, I see things with cards, chat. I see things with cards. A place to hide. This. Bam, bam. Can we, 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 can we kill some stuff here? I feel like a lot of these pings went face. 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 Wow. So two of them went face. Yeah, I guess that happens. That was a pretty big turn, though. He has to kill both jugglers, and I guess... Yeah, he's got to kill the questing and both jugglers. So trade, trade, trade... Or hold on. Trade, 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 trade. I guess it's not that hard for him. Alright, he can get the clear. Yeah, I needed to kill off one more dude. Yeah, one more dude would have been good. But it's fine. We can draw a Naga. The chance we draw a Naga is very high. Nope. <laughs> no Naga. Serve your master. I see. Is Alright. Back on the board again. I don't know how we just don't draw big portions. Again, no outcast, no Naga. Like, our skull never hits the huge combo cards. It's alright, though. But it's just like, we could imagine, like, the turns that we do, like, questing with the outcast with, like, scold stuff. Like, it'd just be nuts. Juan. All right, good. Shit lived. All right. Give me a quest. Ah, there's the Naga. There's the Nugu. I will have vengeance. Vengeance 
is mine! Shadow! What fear will you go Nice. Well, it really depends. If he wands and then hits Galakron. Oh my god. He can go... Oh my god, no. Why? How did he... No, he got this off the Dragon's Horde? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Rob RNG back at it again. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. All right, chat. We're going to draw the other Naga. The game would never do us this dirty. Naga. All right. This card. With this card. With this card. Okay. I didn't even get to kill you, but... Actually, no, I did. Hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about, because we had the thing with the attack and the hero power, and then maybe a four, and we got the tokens, and we got the face, and we got the... Da! Beat him down. Platinum. Sorry, War. Went 0-8 yeah. with this deck. This Hard yeah. pass. Well... Sorry. I did not go 0 and 8 with the deck. <laughs> A lot of rogues. <laughs> it's all been rogues, man. I actually don't know if using the Chaos Strike to hit face is what we want to do. Is this Tempo Demon Hunter? No. Actually not really sold on the Overseer. He's been an underperformer. Do I really want to play the Jugs? Yeah, seems like it'd be good. Left on check, he just continues to do damage to this. This is a uh, token demon hunter vamp and snipe juggler. Command Illidari, coordinated strike, questing. Uh, no weapons. No, none of the five mana weapon. No five mana, five four. No metamorphosis. No princess. He's making a big Edwin here. The Brotherhood shall come. It sucks I can't pump one into killing this lackey. So now he has a free tog. But I can't. There's nothing I can do about that. So when we skull, we want to try to grab the uh, outcast. The outcast would be pretty yummy. Or maybe the uh, coordinated strike and or command. What deck can I run to beat Quest Priest? Uh, any aggro deck does really well against Quest Priest. Alas, poor warlock. Uh, not sure about that one. If I can draw Outcast, I'll be in good shape. Also, coordinated strike is a full clear. 
Because then I can play uh, two Nagas and then uh, coordinated strikes. Pretty good. Pretty good. How about a new Altruist is still a full clear as well. Whether I get him off skull or not, still a full clear. Do you see what must be done? All right. Alas, poor warlock. Let the whippings begin. The whippings. The whippings. The whippings! The whippings! Y'all doubted me. Y'all doubted me. The whippings! The whippings! Uh, the whippings and the whips for the subbies. Uh oh. This guy did some stuff. This guy just went Galakron into free Kronks for full clear. Okay, bro. Alright there, bud. Give me a quest. The whippies. I never lie. Oh my god. What more secrets? Oh my god. You gotta be nay naying me, dude. Come on. Come on. All right, so the drill is going to be I'm attacking face. Don't let the door hit you. Oh my god. All right, so we have to test for... I go face, that's for sure. Barrier. Yep. What's better, two Nagas and a Strike, or one Naga and an Illidari? It's more damage with a Strike, isn't it? Because it's three guys, two guys, more damage, but this is only five guys. This is better. Six, five, but remember, this guy's on the board. So, six is, is greater if I do this one. It's actually going to be hard to do 10 damage with what's left in the deck. I probably needed to trade with this, to be honest. <sighs> do we have any jugglers left? No, no jugs. Do we have any weapons? Yes. We have Umber Wing and Twin Slice. Alright, that's some damage. And we have Silence. That's what you like to see, chat. 